I think there's been multiple games where we've seen each other at, at Duke games. Yeah. We'll see each other, and he'll like, dude, when are you going to have me on the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> he was my rookie, you know. He's my rookie, kind of sort of my rookie in Orlando. And uh, But no, I mean, you, you are killing it. You, I mean, just even with the podcast, television, uh, a media darling and a media star and it's fun to watch that. fun to watch let's hash that out what you just said let's hash that out what do you mean by kind of sort of my rookie <laughs> well i mean so you, you have to understand put it in the proper context before you arrived i was on that team with a bunch of duke haters and i remember vividly i want to say your last game were you i'm trying to think did you did we you lost lose to LSU. lsu okay yes. we were at jameer nelson's house in Chester, Pennsylvania, we were getting ready to play the Sixers the next day. And we were all Jameer's mom, amazing woman, amazing family, food, big spread. We're watching the game and everybody's rooting for LSU. And everybody hates Duke and everybody hated you. <laughs> and then the next year, we draft, you know, we draft JJ that that draft and uh and now he's on the team. And so I felt like, you know, I just felt like I had to kind of like protect him. I don't know if I did a good job. But but there's this we were talking yeah, before. Yeah, I was going to say I think there, I think we might have to tell the story. There's this story. I hope you don't mind me saying this, but you were late one day. One day? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, you were late many days. 3 days. And, 3 days. Um, Only time I've been late. Yep. I think he was late. You might have showed up like when practice was over. But it was you were it was definitely late in practice and the veterans brought you in the locker room. <laughs> And they put him in a chair, one of those like swivel chairs that's on wheels. And they're starting to talk to him and, you know, you can't do this and blah, blah, blah. And then they just duct tape him <laughs> to the chair. And and then they wheel him into the showers and turn the showers on. And so I'm like, okay, I'm like, you know, this. And then Hito, Hito Turkulu was like, let's pee on him. And I'm like, no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and so they wheeled him out onto the court. And then they duct taped him in the chair to the basketball stanchion and just left him out there. And I probably didn't do it. Now that I think of it, I probably didn't do a good job of protecting you in that situation. But um, but it was just, I, I, I look at that year, I know for you it was probably the first time that you didn't have, you know, immediate success. And you were a star in high school, a star in college. And all of a sudden you weren't playing, you weren't getting consistent minutes. I wasn't sure how your career was going to turn out at that point, but to your credit, you worked your ass off. You know, you 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 just became a great player in this league. I don't know if I thought you would be. I, I hate that I'm doubting you, <laughs> or I was doubting you back then. But just remembering that moment and uh, and trying to be, you know, like okay, this is my guy, but I, you know, we got to do a little Ricky hazing. <laughs> How, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let you pee on him. How old did you guys? <laughs> how old did you guys know each other when you were in school? I mean, fairly well, but keep in mind when I was in school, Grant was going through. All, when we'll yeah. get in later on. We'll get yeah. into all the ankle stuff. But you were, I mean, in the middle of all of that stuff. I was hurt. and trying to come back. Yeah. And then my junior year is when you came back and were able to play. That's when you made the All Star game, oh four, oh five. And then my senior year, you had a, you had a, uh, you know, I think a, a somewhat normal year that year. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. So we, I mean, yeah, I come back, but I was. You know, I was I was going through it. I mean, I wasn't right. I wasn't healthy, but I was, you know, certainly watching him. And he was. Uh, I remember Chip England when you were in high school. He said, "Man, there's this kid that's coming here next year. He might be the best shooter ever. Like right now, he might be the best <laughs> shooter ever at Duke." And I'm like, "Come on, Chip. You know." And, and you know what? Chip was right.